Hey, man, you want to learn how to do that punch in record thing that all the rappers is doing? Well, let me show you something. What's up, family? Wavy Wayne here from wavywayne.com at you again. And before we start this video, I do have an amazing announcement to make. I'm not even capping, bro. Bro, that was lame. For real, though. The Wavy Seals Elite is a brand new membership club aiming to build better engineers. That's right. I'm trying to help y'all get your skills up in a whole new way. Now, with this new membership club, let me tell y'all a little bit about what y'all gonna get. Each month, every member is gonna get a mix critiqued by a professional mixing engineer. There will also be a master class every month from one of my mentors, giveaways, live Q&A sessions, and a whole bunch of other goodies. Visit wavywayne.com. Matter of fact, just go down in the description, click the link so you can find out more information and sign up a sappery. all right? Now, let's get into the meat of this video, and I'm gonna be showing y'all how we can punch record in Logic, man. A lot of us are using Logic and it's a great program. So I just want to show y'all how to get the best out of it, especially if you're using one of my templates, but you can do this using any session, even a blank session. So let's just go ahead and jump into Logic. When I go into Logic, and right now you see my session is already set up and I got effects and everything going because I am using my template that you can find on wavywayne.com, but you ain't got to do that to do this, okay? Basically, here we go. To start punch recording, there's a couple of different ways, but the main way that we're going to talk about is the one that I feel works the best for what we're trying to do. Now, there is an option. Let's just get this first option out the way. Okay, so the first method that we're going to talk about is the auto punch. Now, auto punch basically allows you to set a punch in and punch out range automatically so you don't have to worry about hitting the buttons and starting to stop in the punch range. This ain't the best for me, but y'all might like to use this. So I'm going to show y'all real quick. Then we're going to get over into the one that I think is the most useful. All right. So if you go up to your uh, edit window up here at the toolbar of the logic session, you will see that there is a little button called auto punch. Now, if you don't have that, you can just right click and choose to customize the toolbar and just make sure that auto punch is selected so that it will be displayed. Now, simply, all you have to do is click and enable auto punch, and you will see that there's a whole nother uh, little red bar that appears in the timeline. Now, you can go and take this red bar anywhere you want it and set it for any length that you want it in your session. And the dope thing is, is that once you record enable your track, once you hit record, the session won't start to record until it actually reaches that range. And after it passes up that range, it'll stop recording. Yada, yada. And you see that it automatically stopped recording after that range. So a very cool, super useful feature. And you can just turn this off when you're done. But it works perfectly. We don't need that, though. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So now let's talk about the way that I do like to use punch record in Logic. Now, this is simply going to be, uh, it's going to require you to be paying attention and using your timing. But just make sure that you go up to the record and choose allow quick punch in. Just make sure that it's already enabled. Now, it is enabled by default, but just double check to make sure that it's enabled on your system. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is start to play your session and then punch in at any given time. You can also punch out, but the punch out kind of sucks because you can't use the shortcuts to punch out. You got to go up to the toolbar and punch out. Now, if there's another way to do this punch out in Logic without using uh, the toolbar, let me know because please, y'all know I love to use shortcuts. All right. So simply put, I'm going to start off. I'm going to record a couple bars. Um, I'm gonna actually do one bar at a time, man. That's how these rappers do. They do like one or two lines at a time, and then we're gonna go from there. So here we go. Let's rock out. Yeah, wait. I just hit a lick down. I just hit a lick down. Yeah, hey. I just hit a lick, dog. 
Cool. So I got my first line, and now I'm gonna go back and think about what I want the second line to be, and then I'm gonna punch in. I think I'm gonna say, I "Got these haters pissed off." All right. So let's just start here. I'm gonna choose the starting point just by clicking in my timeline, and I'm just gonna play this session. And I'm using Command Spacebar to punch in. Okay. So I'm gonna hit Command Spacebar once I get to the part that I want to punch in after this line that you're gonna hear. Here we go. Yeah. Hey. I just hit a lick, dog. Got these haters pissed off. Cool. And then I just stopped the recording just like that. Now, what you will see is that they will display all of the different takes here separately. So if that you wanted to choose which take you want, you can go back and do that later. We'll talk about this whole thing in another video. But I'll just collapse this right now by hitting that little arrow and we'll keep going. All right, so here we go. Let's just keep going. I'm going to go to my third line. Just hit a lick, dog. Got these haters pissed off. You're playing with a big dog. Cool. Now let's just get one more line. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, this is kind of fire. Throw some thumbs up if you think this fire. I just hit a lick, dog. Got these haters pissed off. You're playing with a big dog. I'm jumping like a frog. Ugh. Okay. I got what I'm going to say. <laughs> I got what I'm going to say. So I'm going to start in a little closer to the punch and then I'm going to jump it up. Got these haters pissed off. You're playing with a big dog. I got the club jumping up and down like a frog. Ah, nah, that suck. Let's undo that. <laughs> Got these haters pissed off. You're playing with a big dog. Now I'm about to lift off. All right, cool. That's close. That's close enough. All right. So now let's just say um, that I don't like one of these lines. Maybe the second line I don't like. Let's let's hear it again. I think this fire, but let's just replace it just in case. I just hit a lick, dog. Got these haters pissed off. You're playing with a big dog. Now I'm about to lift off. <laughs> okay, so got these haters pissed off. Let's just say, um, all your money tricked off. I'm going to change that second line to all your money tricked off, okay? Um, so to punch in and punch out, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So you can use these buttons here, the transport controls at the top of Logic here. You can choose the record button to start the punch and then the play to actually punch out. Now I would prefer that you do this because if you, uh, if you just stop it, you could stop it and mess up the recording. I'm gonna show y'all something cool. Actually, I can show you this now, right? The point of punching out is because Logic actually records everything, right? So even if you see that I can expand these boundaries, even though I wasn't saying nothing here, if I did punch in late or punch in early, I could always just go ahead and tweak the boundaries of that punch because when you in quick punch mode, it records everything from the time that you hit play. So let me just go ahead now. I'm going to replace the second line. Um, all your money tricked off. Uh, here we go. And this time you'll see that instead of stopping it, I'm going to punch out by hitting that play button and it'll continue to play. I just hit a lick, dog. All your money tricked off. You're playing with a big dog. Now I'm jumping like a frog. Ribbit! <laughs> and then we can see that uh, all the takes are expanded again. Let me just uh, collapse that again. But you can see that basically what I did was punch in and punch out here by using the transport controls and that just allowed me to again have all of the extra space that i need in case i went past the boundary or anything i just hit a lick dog all your money tricked off you're playing with a big dog now i'm jumping like a frog ribbit <laughs> That's silly. But yeah, like I said, from the time that I start recording, everything is there. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all. That's a quick video on how I would quick punch in 
Logic, man. Now, this is a cool feature to use so that you don't have to record your whole takeover and it allows you to uh, just have a more natural recording experience when, whether you're doing it yourself or you're working with a client and y'all don't got to keep making so many tracks, man. I know some clients that I have, they send me their session and they got... 13 tracks just for the lead vocal because they're using this method and they don't know how to punch in. So hopefully y'all learned something from this video. If you found it useful, make sure you thumbs up and leave a comment below if I'm missing something, all right? <laughs> don't forget to go to wavywayne.com and join the Wavy Seals if you interested in getting your skills up, man. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, be dope. Be real dope.